it's Mike again, and this is day four of Keto in the Trailer Park. Manufactured Home Community. It's Manufactured Home Community. We prefer to call it that. It doesn't have wheels. Um, yeah, so today I am taking you into the kitchen. And what I'm making today is Keto Chili, which is kind of pseudo-inspired by one of the recipes I saw from Highfalutin Low Carb. I think that's the name of the site, but, um... Yeah, I watch. He, he he prepares a lot of keto-friendly um, menu items, and my 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 partner over there. Right now, I've um, gotten together a bunch of onion and bell pepper, and I got my my kitchen partner over there helping me. And this here is four sausage patties, and I don't know, probably six tomatoes. I'm gonna add to it, and along with that. Um, some garlic. I don't have any chili powder, so I'm going to have to go cumin and taco seasoning. And I don't have any beef broth, so I'm going to substitute um, a pack of Lipton onion soup mix. So I'll get a little extra onion, and I'll get my beef broth and my salt all in one fell swoop. So I'm not sure if the onion soup mix is keto friendly. I would have to look that up, but you know. It's towards the end of the month, so I'm doing what it got to do to survive. I mean, I do have some good luck black eyed peas in the freezer from New Year's Day that I didn't want to go back because I knew we couldn't eat them all. But, um, beans aren't on the keto diet. Not even black eyed peas. So, yeah, I'm kind of bummed out about that. But, anyway, so this is just, you know, the start of it. Um, obviously, there's not going to be any beans in there, but, um, just wanted to give you the basics of what's going in this dish so right now like I said uh, butlers over there sauteing up the peppers and onions and then we're gonna add in the diced tomato which the recipe calls for a can of tomato by the way but I didn't have a can of tomato I may have to sneak a little bit of ketchup in there too so yeah I mean it's not totally keto friendly but you know I'm this is keto on a budget. Oh, crap. I dropped a tomato slice in the keyboard. Okay. And, um, so yeah, we're going to get this cooked up, and then I'm going to go ahead and add onto the clip when that's done, and we'll let you see what the end product is. And until then, we'll see you in five. Oh, that's, no, I can't use his. That's highfalutin, but it sounds so cool. Five, four, three, two, one, and then... We're back, but we're not back yet, but, um, yeah, check him out, highfalutin, oh, again, watching Thomas DeLauer, yeah, and, um, he was quite a chunky guy, but now he's super ripped, and, yeah, he's just my hero, so, shout out to those guys, and, um, we'll see you here back when, um, we've got it stewing up, and, and then invite you to, to participate in our little taste test, and, I guess, invite you to try this keto friendly chili which I'm kind of worried about uh, you know chili without beans I mean I, I have, I've had it on hot dogs but can't have bread unless it's special almond flour and egg bread made with some coconut flour and cream cheese all convoluted together and a tortilla thing which actually, you know, highfalutin guy said, um, you know, that was actually the best recipe for the keto-friendly tortillas. But um, yeah, so um, oh, another another suggestion was you could add boiled shelled boiled peanuts in place of the beans. Or there's and then there's another product out there called black soybeans that I guess you can use. I have not seen them, but. Um, we don't have any of that stuff because we're poor and live in the trailer park. Manufactured home community. See, I was waiting for it. He misses his cues sometimes. I'm busy. Okay, so, all right, we'll see you back in a minute, guys. Okay, y'all, so here's the big reveal. It's the keto chili with a dash of sour cream and onion. There's no beans in here. Oh, but what I didn't say is, is it's even more keto-friendly because it's a mixture of 
ground turkey and um, sausage. Also, um, something I learned from Rachel Ray, any of your dry spices, like in this case we used oregano, you, you always want to take them and rub them between your hands. It kind of wakes them up, and then it just fills your house with this awesome aroma of, of spices. But, um, so yeah, okay, so here goes the taste test. I don't know what I think about chili without beans, but we're about to find out. bad I think it gives use more hot sauce but we did add hot sauce and some a little bit of jalapeno but um yeah it's just really missing those beans damn 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 beans are not keto friendly so I think maybe next time I'm gonna try the the peanut thing see how that goes I love boiled peanuts I mean this is the South boiled peanuts and Cajun styles and the original but um yeah I mean for something low carb I mean it's it's definitely palatable but I just like wouldn't write home about it maybe it would have been better with ground beef I don't know but um yeah, so it's it's an experiment I could um, easily work with and um, make a few substitutions here and there. Oh, by the way, I did add the coffee thing. That was a suggestion from one menu, um, from one um, recipe. It was to add a cup of strong coffee to the recipe, and um, like you know, I don't know, a cup of beer. We didn't have low carb beer, but like, what's the point? That you know, it all cooks off anyway. But you know, all in all, um, again, the keto thing is not about trying to make the most fancy thing you can do because it's just not going to happen, especially if you're on a budget. But um, you can just make food that kind of satisfies you. But Oh, on on a on a on a good note though is um, my good friends the Fongelays, they kind of sponsor me. Um, you know, they help me out with my webcam, and I got a, a microphone for Christmas from them. And recently, they surprised me with a new digital scale. So yeah, on the plus side, um, when I first weighed myself when the scale arrived, I weighed three seventy eight. And now I'm down to 354. So, something's going on. So, yeah. Um, oh, and I've been doing the fasting thing, too. You know, you hear so much about intermittent fasting. So, anyway, I guess that's about all I got for you guys at this time. Again, I'm going to go grocery shopping on the 8th of February. So, hopefully we're going to get some, some good stuff and have some good stories to tell all right thanks for tuning in to keto on a budget in the trailer park and y'all have a great night